The Artist Who Found Inspiration by Charu Pereira Once upon a time, there was a city. The city was covered in smoke coming from the tall buildings that towered from the ground. It was very bleak, so the people who lived there were always very unhappy too. In this city lived a young artist. He liked to paint all day long. He painted kings and queens, musicians and dancers, beggars and merchants, fairies and elves, and his paintings were very colorful. One day he thought, everyone loves my paintings. I should do my own masterpiece. It will be my best painting ever. But he just didn't know what to draw. The artist went for a walk looking for inspiration. He saw a young child sitting near a gutter. He was crying. The artist sat near the child and said, Hey, why are you crying? I don't have anyone to play with. The child sniffed. Little friend, said the artist with a smile. There are so many ways to enjoy yourself. You just need to unleash your imagination and make yourself a friend. But I don't know how. Don't worry, I'll help you. But first, I'll need a pencil and a paper. The artist started drawing a friend for the child. First, he drew a glamorous dark-skinned dancer dancing in the rays of the sun. This represents the freedom of the enslaved, he explained. But I don't like it. The confused child replied. Then let's do another. The artist was determined to help the child. Next, he drew a clown holding a flag. This is about the foolishness of the government. The artist was hopeful. That one is scary. Then what do you want? I want a puppy with a long tail and white fur. And he loves to play with a purple ball, said the child. So the artist drew. I love it. Thank you so much, the child exclaimed and hugged the artist. As the artist was walking home, he thinks, all my ideas were good. But the child's one was the best. Maybe to draw for children, I need to think like one. And he was inspired. A week later, the artist proudly displayed his masterpiece. He named it The Child. His fame spread and he grew rich. The young artist adopted the child to live with him and became his friend. They lived happily ever after and the artist never lost his inspiration ever again. The End